Welcome back everyone. So I have uh, the working uh, prototype for my scare robot. It, me it just uses gears without belts. So I'm just going to uh, talk about uh, how it works, the mathematics and the mechanics. So hope you enjoy. So here's my scare uh, robot. Um, it's using basically two stepper motors and some gears here so it can rotate um, this main one rotates the center arm here and then this one right here rotates the outside arm here um, since I'm using gears um, if I want it to if you if you rotate these at the same speed you can actually have that at fixed otherwise when one rotates the other one may rotate as well so i have it working i've done the reverse kinematic so what what right now here's the coordinate system this is zero zero right here and this is negative 100 in the x direction, positive 100. Right here is positive 100 in the y direction and then negative 100 over here. So it has the this whole table right here in the circle and you can put in the Cartesian plane or Cartesian points and it'll do the conversion. So I spent some, basically my holiday programming, I finished the program and here I'm just going to, um, it can go into the angle, so it'll go the, the shortest distance. Right now I have it in linear mode, basically. So it's gonna go from here, down to this point, up to this point, and back, and kind of make a, a diamond. So, uh, I have it outputting the different location. I'm going to activate it by pressing one. And you can see the, this is the current location right here. And it's basically doing the conversion and it's going to go ex extend the arm in a linear path right here. Let's see if it follows the point. So it should follow this line going up that point there. So it's doing a pretty good job. You can see how it's it's going the main is right underneath that. Give you an idea. Yeah, so the mathematics is working. The only problem with this design is it does kind of wobble back and forth the further you get with the radius. So you want to always make sure that the arm is kind of bent. Look at that. There we go. And that's the starting position again. So here it's going. I put the, the table on the top here. You can see it moving along there. The kind of motion. Again, I'm just going from like peg to peg. You can see how the gears are working there. So let's uh, examine how this machine works. Um, it's used in a Scara robot configuration. And uh, again, it's good for making rotations with this arm. But let's say going from Cartesian plane you, you could use this as an XY coordinate system and let's say I wanted it to go to a specific location so how would the how would you program the Arduino to do that um, because you have to get and figure out the angle of this arm and the angle of this arm to get to a certain uh, position okay and these are fixed links here 
Um, so since that this is fixed, we can actually use math to figure it out. So, for example, here's a circle and you have x and y. This will be positive, negative y, negative x, and this will be 0, 0. And based on the length of each arm, you have two, uh, two arms. So if it's totally, if this is 50 centimeters and 50 centimeters, this would be like 100. Um, in the, it would be, for the x, y coordinate, this would be 100 comma 0, for example. But let's say you, you can want it any location. You can just draw a dot and we want to go to, for example, 50 comma 60, okay, or what have you. And this is the x and y location. Well, you're going to have to tell the robot to turn a specific angle with one arm and the other arm and you'll have that joint like this. So here's the math behind it. Um, it's actually not overly difficult. I'm just going to look at uh, this section here. So let's, let's zoom in here. So let's have a look at this here. We're just going to assume that it's positive. So if I wanted this point right here, whatever it is, and I want to go to this location, so therefore I know the X and Y uh, location. For example, let's say it's six and six. Well, there's some other things I know. I'm gonna have to use two arms. And there's, this is the joint. These two arms are the same length. Okay? So, for example, we could, we could just say that this is one and one. Okay? And if you look at this point from here to here, we actually get a right angle triangle. The distance from here to here is x and the height of that triangle is y. So if I know the x and y, and this is right angle triangle, then therefore I can find out the distance from the origin to the point. And I'm just gonna call that the total radius, uh, I'm just gonna call that r. r will be equal to x squared plus y squared square root. So now I know r. I know r, and this length right here, I know, it's a fixed value because the arm length here won't change. You can measure it with a ruler. You can know both of those arm lengths, no problem. Okay, so here's your, for example, your triangle for this situation here. So we know this, and we also know this right here. Usually the arms are the same length. So the question then is, we want to find out some missing angles. We want to know how much do I need to rotate this angle here for the first arm, and how much do I need to rotate this arm right here. So if I have this kind of shape, this kind of triangle, this is a, a, a isosceles, it's not a right angle triangle, if I have side, 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 you can use the cosine law. Let's say that this is A, B, and C. Therefore, this will be small c, this will be small b, and small a. Let's say I wanted to find this angle here. I wanted to find angle A. Well, you can use the cosine law and the cosine law for angle A, um, the cosine law is uh, A squared will be equal to C squared plus B squared subtract two CB cosine the angle like that, A. 
and I wanted to find it at angle A. So therefore, to, right, I guess you can't really see that very well here. This is, um, let me just rewrite this so that you can see it better. So cosine law. So we have a squared is equal to c squared plus b squared subtract 2 um, cb cosine angle a. Okay. I want to find this angle here. So that's this guy right here. So we can do get these guys on the other side, that'll be a squared, subtract c squared, subtract b squared, is equal to negative 2cb cosine a, get rid of uh, this over here, so divided by 2cb, divided by negative 2cb, um, now I have cosine a is equal to a squared minus c squared minus b squared, over negative 2cb. To get that, you can do uh, the inverse cosine or arc co cosine. And there we go. So I can use that, I can figure out this angle. And if I can do that with the cosine law, I can actually do the same thing and find angle c using the same cosine law. So I can find out this angle here. So then uh, the, the, the other question we have is we have to find out uh, this angle here. So let's just call this alpha. How to find out alpha? Well, again, this is a right angle triangle. And so you can just use sine, cosine. Okay. And uh, we have the X and Y. Okay. So therefore we have the opposite. We can use tan. So tan alpha will be equal to Y over X. And therefore, alpha will be equal to inverse of tan y over x. So I know alpha. And uh, alpha will be this total angle. So then the remaining angle right here, we can call this theta 1. Theta 1 for the, the arm 1 will just be this total angle alpha minus angle A, which we used as the cosine law. So this is basically um, the angle that you need to orientate the first arm to get to this location. Now, the second arm, we actually know its uh, angle relative to the first arm, because this is like a straight line here. We need to figure out this angle here. Well, if I already know this angle, we're missing this angle here. This is actually a straight line. So we just have to subtract pi from this. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this angle right here theta two. So therefore, theta two will be equal to 180 degrees, and it's usually uh, measured in ra radians, right? Um, so that will just be pi minus this angle here, and we'll call that angle C. And there we go. That's how to figure out the two angles to move the arm to get to any x, y coordinate that you want um, using the Scara robot configuration. Uh, the math is not too overly hard. It's just using cosine law and right angle triangle sine cos uh, cosine tan law as well. 
it is not a linear system as the other designs are because again we're dealing with a circle with circle you have to have angles and you're going to uh, probably you're going to be using radians and things like that so cool that's that's the basic math of it uh, to figure out where your arm's going to go on desmos i made An example of the scare robot and it's two arms here where you can put the uh, the XY coordinate right here to any point and no matter where you go around the the arm will figure out the two angles to um, make it um, to that location and the math that I is, that I explained it's the same as right here where you can change the uh, length of the first arm L1 in this case and L2 as well and you can see the effects that it that it has uh, by doing that usually you, you want um, the same length of arm so that it can wrap right down and reach zero zero it has some interesting properties when it hits zeros it does flip back okay um, so uh, when you are plotting something uh, just keep a note it does do that um, yeah so the the basic math is right uh, again right here you found out the first angle using cosine law that we were right here and so from this point to here we can find the first angle in 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 here um, and then the second angle the second angle again after we found this guy right here we had to subtract it from pi this is uh, theta 2 theta 1 is from the big triangle right here and we subtract these two uh, the, the big angle from the, the small angle gives us this angle down here and then we just plot it so this is basically I'll put the a copy of this code so if you want to play around with it too um, in the description of this video so it's pretty cool that's uh that's how this the the arm works and you can then tell it to go in a straight line for example these kind of polar tables are actually meant for making circles since um, everything is circular in nature. We don't have any linear rails, so it's actually, it works pretty well. I programmed the keys where you can activate the inner motor by pressing Q. You can increase the speed using W, decrease, and... Um, R is to reverse its direction. So I'm pressing Q here. So we have basic, and then if I press A, that's a smaller circle. So I can slow it down or speed it up. If you have any comments about uh, any other improvements uh, for this robot, you can uh, put in the comments and uh, check out the code, the links. And if you want to su support the channel, you can uh, click on one of the links to buy one of my books uh, that I've written. And I'll see you in the next video.